I'm Riley Schultz. This year in my CM10 class, we learned four different topics. We learned Photoshop, motion and shape tweens, audio and music, and the green screen room and how to edit out the background. Photoshop is a very interesting and fun way to start off the year. It was very easy and gave you a good understanding towards what communications media is all about. This is a photo of my friend. I edited out her eyebrows and blemishes. Motion and shape tweens were very difficult in the beginning. Me and my friend had lots of troubles with the app and getting our shape or cartoon to move. I had eventually got the hang of it and had some fun getting the shapes to merge together. Here's what some of them look like. With the audio, as in the microphone, and having to say a nursery rhyme, it was very difficult to get the timing right to the video. We had to create ourselves saying the rhyme and put it over top of the shape tween video we had previously done, including music, opening credits, closing credits, and sound effects. Here's a little clip as to what we had to do. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb as fleece as white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, Mary went, Mary went. Everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Green screen was the most recent thing we had done. I had done both of my projects with my friend Regan Slosher. It was difficult to get used to working in the green screen room in the editing app and to get the correct video you actually like. We made it look like we were giants teleporting between city and landscapes. Here's what it looked like. If I were to continue the study of multimedia, I would be able to be a web designer who knows what is needed to make an effective website that is functional and easy to use. It makes it visually appealing to viewers or customers. It could also be a graphic designer. They develop the layout and design for varieties of ad advertisements, as in brochures and magazines. I could also be a film editor who assembles different footage into a sequence of events. Of events. They also edit dialogue scenes and edit the mess ups out. There is many more opportunities in the multimedia. Things I learned that weren't outcomes were things like organization, so I knew exactly where everything was for a fact and didn't have to go searching for things. I also learned that keeping things in a folder is a lot easier than just letting them float around and possibly lose them and have to restart. This class has many different projects listed as labs and are organized as numbers. Examples like lab 00, 01, 02, and so on. The only cons of this system are confusions between labs, like you might think that lab 5 is actually lab 4, or something, and hand in something you weren't supposed to. Sometimes we weren't given enough time and got too behind. It would be very difficult to catch back up with everyone else. Pros are, it was very difficult to switch the labs up. It was a very easy way to keep track of what we had done. And Mr. Lundrum was very nice to let us know what we have intended it. How he would mark them is we would put our project into his folder and he would play the video in front of the class. He would also put the outline on the website where we'd have to fill in our names, and when it was marked and what we had done on it. We would then hand it in and he would mark off the paper we had printed off. The cons of this, we would forget to hand it in to his folder or forget to print off some things. 
and have to go and fix it. Other than that, there are no cons to the system. The system is very good and allows us to fully understand what we are supposed to do and, and how we will be marked. The journal writing is a sheet of paper we put in a duet tank to reflect what we have learned and done in our last week. We write what we have learned, who we have helped, and who has helped us with our classwork. Or a new subject, topic, or app. We also, if we have any concerns or struggles, the pro of this is that we realize how much we are actually learning in this class in a short amount of time. The con is that we actually have less time to actually do classwork that may actually be necessary on some occasions to get projects done on time. It makes us write this so he knows that we are understanding what we are supposed to do and so he knows that we aren't stuck on any projects. For anyone taking the class next year, get ahead as much as you can because you might be struggling at the end of the year to get things done. Pros are, it is easy to get ahead and it is a very easy class in my eyes and it is very fun. The cons are sometimes deadlines will creep up on you and you just need to stay calm and keep going through your projects, making sure you have them correct.